I'm at Cherokee, which is named after a green jay, and the focus here is on South Texas food. So check this out, on the inside of the menu, they have like a little thing here basically about the migration pattern of the Cherokee. Uh, ingredients from South Texas. Uh, this is San Antonio. This building, if you take a look around, it is, I believe, around 130 years old. I feel like I'm kind of dining upstairs in someone's house. Uh, it happens to be a restaurant. I'm told the building was moved a couple times. So I'm trying the namesake, Cherokee salad. And although the ingredients look good, what I'm really doing is I'm trying it so I could, uh, I added some brisket to it. So this is like known as a smokehouse. So I'm trying the brisket. I'm gonna be trying the goat, which I believe is gonna come wrapped in a banana leaf. All right, I enjoyed the salad, but the main thing I wanted to try when I looked at the menu was the barbecue goat. So I asked for the mole sauce on the side, which they gave to me. And then I got a couple sides. I got uh, refried beans and I also got uh, the rice, so I'm going to try the goat right now. Okay, so the goat, I just tried it. The mole sauce here is not made with chocolate like I believe it is in Mexico. Um, instead, it's made with Texas pecans and peppers. has a little bit of kick to it, not too much, but the goat is great. It's very tender, and I can definitely see why this place has a reputation for its barbecue. For dessert, I got a little bit of a sampler plate here. So we got tres leches cake, hibiscus sorbet, churros with Mexican chocolate. Uh, there's another cake on there. And I'm just not really sure where to start. I'm really surprised that I was able to try everything on the dessert menu and I'm gonna have to go with the churros. The, you know, crunchy, crispy cinnamon churros uh, in the Oaxaca chocolate was delicious, but I'm gonna say they gave me a little scoop of vanilla ice cream and the churros and the vanilla ice cream. I would say that was my favorite combination out of everything. Uh, the hibiscus sorbet was a cool idea, but I'm definitely going with the churros as my favorite dessert here. If you like this video, please click subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. Jacksonville, Florida, Alaska, maybe Cabo San Lucas a little later in the summer. And I just want to say again, thank you very much for watching.